NextSage is an exchange-enabled supply-side platform, and we work with really two types of customers. One are large premium publishers, uh, so large media organizations that are aggregating significant audiences on mobile, be it mobile web or an application. This year, uh, more smartphones ship than PCs, right? So there's a real tipping point. And many of the publishers that we work with are starting to see equilibrium between mobile traffic, or even some instances, mobile traffic is surpassing, uh, surpassing desktop traffic. So we're really at a tipping point right now where it's, it's you know, if, if you don't have a mobile, mobile website, you, you, know, you, you need one. If the publisher is interested in, uh, in monetizing through advertising, the solution that we're able to bring to bear is, uh, is one that yield optimizes revenue. So a publisher is able to pass us an ad request. We'll take that ad request and we'll look across dozens and dozens of demand partners. And these include demand side platforms as well as ad networks. So for every given impression, we're shopping that impression, if you will, to drive the best price. Uh, so the publisher doesn't need to be in a situation where they're choosing selectively, should I work with this ad network or should I work with this one? Uh, working with a company like NextAge, they now have access to the, to the entire market for mobile advertising and also can streamline the integration. It really d depends on the publisher. It depends on the site. Um, there are standard you know, IAB and MMA units that work fine. There's also a lot of momentum around uh, rich media and video in mobile. Some of the publishers that we're working with uh, see 10 or 11x CPM lifts for rich media or video. But once again, the way that we work with publishers, it's really d it, it's up to the publisher and what they're comfortable with, and also. Um, how to preserve and create a good user experience as well. So video or interstitials may not be right for all publishers, but some publishers are, are fine with them and, and, they're, and they're a nice element to the site as well. The big, big, bigger segments um, in mobile where we're seeing spend Areas like automotive or entertainment, so theatrical releases, uh, retail, and CPG is uh, really starting to, starting to pick up, as well as spend for uh, mobile endemic companies, so companies that are trying to, download, trying to drive downloads or installs of apps. Uh, we're seeing a lot of spend there ha happen from some of the bigger game companies that are trying to drive, drive these dollars. As it relates to advertising, it's a very important element, um, and our technology actually sniffs what type of device, because the way that advertisers, ad networks, are, DSPs and agencies are reaching consumers is uh, there, there's data that certain, uh, certain users or demographics ha you know, have certain types of handsets. Um, so depending on, you know, depending on the campaign, there may be a targeting segment where we're looking to reach this type of user, someone who has a, you know, uh, this type of phone or this type of operating system, because we know that someone who owns this type of phone is, in, is typically a male and is in the demographic of you know, 25 to 40 years old, and we want to reach that consumer. Also, there's the, uh, there's the issue of creative formats and ads. So not all phones will handle all ad units equally. So as we're seeing the ad requests come in, uh, we need that data so we can deliver a, a well-formatted ad that's going to be effective for the publisher and, and for the advertiser. 